Yes, y'all, it's about to go down. We're going to start with our sides first. First thing we're going to do is make us uh, some coleslaw. So I got a head of a cabbage here. I'm just using a corner piece, and I'm going to shred that up really fine and chop it up nicely, okay? And then I'm going to rinse my vegetables. I got green onion, and I got my cabbage here that I'm rinsing off, okay? And then I got me some shredded carrot, and I'm just going to really dice that into finer pieces and add it to the coleslaw. We're going to add and mix everything together. So I got my green onion here and I'm chopping it up really fine so we can add that to the mixture of vegetables as well. And so once you just chop everything up, you want to add it all together and then we'll get ready to add our seasonings here. What I'm going to do is add a quarter cup of mayo, almost, give or take in that area, some salt, some black ground pepper and some celery salt, which you want to be careful because it's potent so don't use too much. And then I got rice around vinegar. Usually you can use apple cider but I didn't have it but this flavor works just the same. And then I got some sugar I'm going to add to it as well. And I'm just going to mix it up here, making sure everything is mixed together. And then we also, it's very important to taste as you go. So I'm just tasting. And at this point, it tastes very good. I'm just adding a little bit more mayo here. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and place it in the refrigerator so all those flavors can mix in well. At this point, we're getting ready to mix up our chili powder seasoning. This is what I'm using here. I got my Pepper Chef bowl, which is one of my favorite bowls. It's a measuring bowl as well. And I'm just gonna add some beef bouillon here, not too much because it's concentrated. Some garlic powder, some onion powder here. I got some smoked paprika and some cumin here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add me some chili powder next. All right, and after that, I'm gonna go ahead and add me some salt and some little bit of cayenne. And then I'm just adding a little bit of sugar, you guys, just a titch. All right, next I'm chopping up our yellow onion. I'm chopping it up really fine, dicing it up so we can use that to saute in with the meat and give it that flavor, you guys. Okay, after I'm done chopping it up, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my tomatoes here. I got me some cherry tomatoes that I'm gonna go ahead and chop up. You guys, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing it. I'm just chopping it up into small pieces and we're gonna add it in. So I got these hot dogs here, my favorite. Oven 425 for about 10 minutes, okay? Then I'm gonna go turn my oven stove on to medium high heat and we're just gonna get our pan really nice and hot. Add our olive oil and saute our yellow onions in there. I didn't add all, I saved some for toppings at the end. So I'm adding some garlic paste as well. And we just wanna cook that down and let it saute for a minute or two. This right here is a great tool. I got this from Pepper Chef as well. It's a meat grinder. So what I mean is it's gonna help mash the meat down into a nice small ground bit, okay? And it's a really helpful tool when cooking, you know, ground beef, ground turkey, anything like that. And so I'm adding my chili, chili seasoning to it and I'm just mixing it around, stirring it around and letting the meat cook. So I'm adding my tomatoes and some black beans. I know kidney beans, red beans is always best, but I got black beans and that's what I'm gonna use. And it's just the same, you guys, no difference. All right, so I'm stirring it around and I'm just gonna let it cook until it's done. And then after you cook, cook the meat well done, you wanna make sure you drain the grease out, okay? So we drain our meat and we bring it back to the pan. All right, once we got it back, I'm just adding a little bit of ketchup here, almost. Maybe about one eighth of a cup of ketchup and I'm just stirring it in to give it a little sauce make a little sauce and then I'm just making up some more chili seasoning mix and I'm gonna add that to the pan as well just a little bit more flavor and I'm just cooking it down you guys all right don't that job look good okay you guys so I'm just tasting as I go as always and it tastes delicious guys simple easy chili and you wanna let it simmer for about 10 minutes to impart that flavor really good. Now I got my buns here. I got from the bakery part of my store. And I'm just cutting it up, cutting it open so I can place my hot dog in there, which I cooked in <clears throat> my convection oven 425 for about 10 minutes. And it tastes just as good as on the grill, you guys. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my chili, y'all. This is so good, y'all. I just had a hankering for a chili cheese dog. And this is how you do it, okay? So I got me some cheese I'm gonna add up there. Right, okay. Just a mix, mixed blend of cheese. And then I got my onions, okay? I'm gonna add that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of those tomatoes, you guys. So good. How y'all do it? How y'all dress up y'all hot dog? Okay, so then I'm gonna add some of the cat coleslaw we made. Turned out very delicious, you guys. And guess what? I'm gonna add it to the top of that chili cheese dog as well. Okay, I don't like ketchup as a condiment. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me. I like it as a as I cook into other foods, but I don't like it as a condiment itself. But I got my mustard here. I'm gonna add to the top. And you guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. And you guys have a blessed night.